everyone. So first off, I would like you to check the sidebar for a link to my second channel and also a link to a video that I did and it was a collaboration with Soundly Awake Nick who kind of ran the whole thing. It's his video and I just kind of put my little clip in there. There are a lot of us YouTubers. There's What the Buck, um, JP Metz, Soundly Awake, X Sparkage, uh, Megan Tangez. I mean, there's so many and it's so fun. It's like an interactive game. Um, so make sure you go check that out because it was so much fun to be a part of. Alright, so I told you guys in my latest video um, that the look I had on, I would be doing a tutorial that would go up on Saturday. And you will not believe, well, maybe you will because you're probably the person that did this, but there were so many people that commented and said, no Blair, we don't want another neutral look. We want color. We want blue and purple and green and pink and that got me thinking and I was like, well, I don't normally do those looks. I don't wear them out. I do at night, but not during the day. And I know I have a lot of younger viewers, so I try to do neutral looks for them. But there are a lot of you out there that want this kind of look. So this is actually a look that I wore out last night and I got a lot of compliments on it. Like you will not believe. And I was like, wow, I'm going to be wearing color more often. So I think I'm going to wear color like during the day as well. Maybe not this dramatic. This is more of a night for me. It's the morning and I'm not going to take this off. I'm just going to go throughout my day. So like I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to wear this and I'm going to rock it. But I love the products and I want you guys to know about them. So this company I'm talking about today is called Pandora's Makeup Box and it was created by a lady named Susan from Canada. And all of the packaging is super, super cute. Like look at this. How cute is that? Oh, I Twittered you guys yesterday that I was painting my nails Visions of Sugar Plum that I bought at Ulta yesterday. And you might wonder why it's not on my nails. That's because afterwards we baked cupcakes and I didn't wait for them to dry and they smeared really badly. So I took it off, but I'm going to paint it back today. So the packaging is super, super cute and there's a plus. It's eco-friendly, which you guys know is a big deal to me. Um, I stress it a lot and I really, really love the packaging. Look, it even has a rhinestone in the middle. How cute! Alright, so I got sent some products to try out, tell what I thought about them, and so I want to tell you guys a couple of things. First off, I got the powder, and I got color number three, and it looks like this, and this is actually a really big powder. So I have it on today, and I do like the finish that it gives. The only thing, I have this zit up here. Um, it can't be covered up by anything I try, so it's not this product's fault because MAC won't cover it up, nothing will. But yeah, I really like this powder. It gives me an amazing, amazing finish and I highly recommend it. This is what I have been using for the past week, so if you've noticed that my complexion is a little bit different in any of my videos, that is because of this powder. It's amazing. I love it. Alright, then I want to talk to you about the eye primer, which looks like this. And it too comes in a cute box. You guys know that I stress how much I love Cliché Cosmetics Eye Primer. And I still do. I still do. I still love it. I'm still going to use it. But I have used this every day for the past week. Except for the day that I did my Jessie's Girl tutorial. Because I wasn't ready to introduce you guys to this yet. So I used my Cliché Cosmetics. But every other day I've been using this. And I absolutely love it. It is perfect for dry or oily lids. I have oily. It keeps my shadows on all day long. Like I said, I've been using it for a week and I have had no problems with this. It really evens out the skin tone on your eye too. If you don't want to wear shadow, you just kind of want to cover up that like translucent veiny look. Um, this is a very good product for that. So then I got two of the eyeshadow quads and this one is in Hugs and Kisses and it's a neutral eye. Of course, because I love neutral eyes and it looks like this. And I have been using this. Um, you guys have seen me wearing this in videos lately. You just don't know that it was this. And then the one I used today is called Hot Babe. Um, I don't know if you guys realize how big these eyeshadows are. So here is a max size shadow so that you can compare it. Look how much bigger those shadows are. I know, I'm never going to run out of these shadows. It's amazing. And also they're super pigmented. Like look at this. Oh my gosh. And this one... Yeah, they are that pigmented. How crazy is that? It's super crazy, right? 
Okay, another thing I got is their mascara in navy, and I wore this in a video. Which video would it be? I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out and put a little annotation, but I had this on, and no one noticed I had on navy mascara, and I was so excited, and I don't think anybody asked if I had on navy mascara, but it's, it's blue. Um, I wore it with a neutral eye look. And it really made my eyes pop. If you have blue eyes or green eyes, this is going to make your eyes pop amazingly. But I really like this navy. So I've been wearing this just to spice up my day looks while I have on a neutral eye. Then I got their glosses in Delicious and Golden. This is such a pretty fall color. It's amazing. If you are into the deep lips like I am, this is a definite investment that you have got to get. And then Delicious is what I have on right now. I don't have on any lipstick. It's just this. Something you need to know about these glosses is they are the smoothest glosses that I own. And look how big they are. That's huge. MAC ones are like this big, just so you can compare. And these are this big. These are huge. But also, they smell like Girl Scout cookies, Thin Mints. They smell like that kind of chocolatey mint. Um... It's amazing. If you've ever had a Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie, you know the smell and you know the taste and you're going to want to buy this. It doesn't taste like it, but I guess that's good because then you won't be licking it off of your lips all day. Also, the holidays are coming up, so you guys can maybe make a wish list and ask for it for the holidays. Or you can order some for friends. But if you type in Blair, and I will have it on the sidebar. I don't spell my name with an E. It's just B-L-A-I-R. If you type in Blair in the coupon code, you are going to get $10 off any order over $40, which is a really great deal because you get $40 worth of makeup for $30 or $60 worth of makeup for $50, which is really great, especially since we're all trying to save money in this economy. I'm really liking that you guys are pushing me to go away from the neutrals and go more into this kind of eye because you're going to be seeing a lot more of this because I like it so much. And if I'm wearing this exact look in the next couple of videos, don't think I'm not original. I just really like it and I'm going to be switching up my looks, but I just really, really like this look that I'm going to be wearing it a lot. But yeah, I'm excited to wear it all day and it kind of matches my shirt and I didn't even plan it. But look, I have on like light blue and the dark blue. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's go get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes using the Pandora's Makeup Box Eye Primer. So I'm just using my finger. Next I'm taking a Lowell Cornell's Maxine Mops brush in 3 eighths of an inch. You can get these at Michael's Craft Store, but if you don't have one around you, then just any flat shader brush like this will do. So the first color I'm going to be using is this right here, and it is called Aquamarine. So just get that on one side of the brush. Tap off any excess so it doesn't end up all over your face. Then we are just going to pat this onto the lid. Then we are going to take this navy color right here, which actually does not have a name on the bottom of it. So just flip that brush over and use the same brush. And I'm going to pat this onto the outer half of my eyelid. Okay, so now where the two colors meet, I'm just going to flip my brush over and kind of blend it by pulling colors from each side over and also you want to kind of keep the crease defined. Next I'm taking this Shuamora large crease brush that I bought for just a couple of dollars at Target. With this color right here it actually looks kind of brown but when you put it on it has a little bit of a purple undertone that really shows through. So just get that on my crease brush and I'm going to put this into my crease right over this blue. Okay, now on that same brush, I'm getting a little bit more of the navy color and going back into my crease with that. 
Okay, now I'm going to take just a very, very tiny bit of this black color and put this right in the outer part of your crease. Like that. This is just going to deepen it up a little bit. Then I'm taking a Sigma SS224 brush and I'm going to blend these colors together. Now I'm taking a Sigma SS239 and you can use any nude color that you have for a highlight. I'm using Floof by MAC which looks like this. So I'm just going to put this under my brow. Now I'm going to go back in with the two blue colors and just make this a little bit more vibrant on my lid. Now I'm going to take a MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm going to line my lower lash line, mainly the inner half, but I might take it a little bit further just to help it blend. And now I'm just going in with the darker navy color to the outer half and blend those together. So now I'm going to line my upper lash line with L'Oreal Paris' Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. Now I'm going to line my waterline with black liner. Just so you guys know, this is a prestige pencil liner and it stays on the waterline really, really well. Then you also want to lift your lashes and line your tight line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm applying one coat of L'Oreal's Collagen Mascara. And don't forget your lower lashes. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Okay, so now for the blush, I will be applying it with the MAC 129 Blush Brush. And I'm using Misty Pink Blush by Pandora's Makeup Box. So you don't want a very harsh blush for this look. Just a little bit of a rosy dust. So since the eyes are so intense, I won't be wearing lipstick, but I am going to be wearing Pandora's Lip Gloss in Delicious. Just so you know, this is probably the smoothest lip gloss I own. Mm. And also, it smells just like mint. It kind of smells like chocolate mint. Comment below and tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!